What's up YouTube? It's your girl Yaya back again with another cooking video. In today's video, we're just going to be making some spaghetti, something quick, light, and easy. So without further ado, y'all, let's jump right into dinner. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands before I start cooking dinner. If you've been rocking with your girl for a while, y'all already know this is the first step before I always cook. All right, so first you're gonna take a pot and you're gonna fill it up with some water. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stove on high so I can get those noodles boiling. I'm gonna hit it with some salt and some oil or some butter to help the noodles from sticking. All right, so while the water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some onion and some bell pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that to our pan so we can start cooking our ground beef. All right, so since my water is looking lovely, I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles to the pot. Okay, so while the vegetables are cooking and the noodles are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. All right, it's time to get this ground beef cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in a pan, and I'm just gonna mash it, get it all into tiny pieces, and then we're gonna go ahead and season it up. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with some basil, um, a little bit of ground cumin, some complete seasoning y'all this is my favorite i put this seasoning on everything a little bit of garlic powder then i'm gonna make sure i hit it with some larry's uh seasoned salt and then finally a little bit of black pepper when i tell y'all that this meat smells so good y'all like the ground beef smells amazing i'm gonna go ahead and finish letting this cook down while i go ahead and pour the noodles off and start seasoning the sauce My noodles came out perfect y'all all right so excuse about the more pot it is what it is we are gonna go ahead and season this spaghetti sauce so we can put this in the oven let's get it all right so i like to put sugar in my spaghetti so that's the first thing i'm gonna do is put two scoops of sugar in mine if you don't want to put sugar that is what you prefer but i prefer to put sugar in mine so I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder, a little bit of basil, uh, pretty much the same seasoning as before. I'm gonna hit it with some oregano, and of course, my favorite seasoning, uh, the complete seasoning. And this time, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Creole in it for a little spice. After I hit it off with the Creole seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice stir, and I'm gonna let that cook on the stove for a little bit. It is time to add everything into one pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour over my noodles and I'm gonna go ahead and pour over my ground beef and give it a nice stir. I'm gonna let this cook on the stove uh, for a little bit before I put it in the oven. And y'all, this is way more than I attempted to cook, but hey, at least I don't have to cook for a while. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice stir and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese to top it off. When I tell y'all that this spaghetti smells and look amazing, like I am so ready to dig in y'all. Like, let's just take a moment and just admire this spaghetti. Like it is so, the smell of it is amazing y'all. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to pour my spaghetti in my pan so I can put it in the oven. Um, I'm not against spaghetti cooked on the stove. Like I've had it younger where it's cooked on the stove. I love it either way. But now my preference is a little different. I prefer to cook it on the stove and then I prefer to cook the rest of the way through in the oven. So we're about to get ready to pop that in now. And y'all, I'm telling you, it is so good in the oven. Like it's crispy and everything. If you've been rocking with your girl, you know I like to clean up either as I'm cooking or as soon as I get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to load this dishwasher while the spaghetti is in the oven. And then we're gonna get ready to wipe the counters down and sweep the floors. Now 
moving on to the cabinets. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with my Clorox bleach spray and I got my Lysol wipes. Since I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the floor, I'm just gonna throw this on the floor and then sweep it up when I sweep. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and disinfect the cabinets, wipe everything down. Moving on to the floor, you guys. Well, this part is obviously self-explanatory. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a light, quick sweep so I can get ready to take the food out of the oven. Alright, nothing too major, just gonna do a quick wash after I just did all that cleaning so I can taste this food. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's time to taste it, y'all. Alright, y'all, so it is time for the taste test. Let's get right into it. I don't know why, but I like my spaghetti better with the panini noodles. I don't have to, like, do too much. I can just stab it and go, so... Y'all see the steam? Yeah, I'm excited. All right, let's taste it. Mm. It's hot, but it's good, y'all. Definitely. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. If y'all like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more recipes. Further ado, y'all, I am out.